I say hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm June Charles and uh, we are in the midst of completing King Clay and we are going into our second mission and um, okay congratulations you've been uh, you have been awarded awarded a new mission name to protect the outpost Lo location alien outpost so this is what i remember when i was at the map before apparently the first mission you are given here the the prison is not on the map if it is i will try see if i can locate it but hey that's how it is so let's continue you have found a news item worth 50 gold sword is the sword weakest of the sword class weapons is simply performing its duty you have found a new item worth 25 gold wooden target made entirely out of wood this is a very light shield saving game i really like that minion so see this is what i'm talking about there is no other mission than this one on the map so that means if i want to redo that first mission i have to start a new game so um i would say let's go into i guess alien output not alien but e i'm butchering that name so sorry about that alien e alien outpost ah okay so there are uh, submissions so it's easy so you can see here i'm missing five gold on this one so protect the outpost alien outpost after finding your way of the surface you face a threat far worse than imprisonment the outpost is under attack and you are rallied to fight side by side with your captures against the invaders protect the outpost defeat the outlanders and Defeat Borgia. I'm wondering what that 360 is about. If it's for loading more or it's just for fanciness. Hey I could use your help here. The courtyard is crowded with enemies. Okay, so here I'm getting a what? Has it reset some of my controls? Because apparently my right click is not working anymore. Next item. Apparently I lost all my... Ooh. Okay, it is somewhat outside the city. Now we must hit the outpost. We're under attack. Yes, we are. So we have our first ten. That means we have ten percent. So I'm wondering, am I supposed to use this cannon or something? Okay, fancy. Did I lose my follower? No, she's still here. And here's uh... Okay, I can hear something. I am not so... 
Okay, he's like a fancy ninja. Okay. I thought he would be tough. Okay, so... Come on. tell you already now combat is somewhat um, intrigued uh, you really have to be careful how you do things um, see can I get up there I guess I can't or I can't yet I mean so 35 out of 100 is pretty good already. And I'm guessing the amount of coins is the um, the way you can see how long the mission is. Or maybe not. Did I lose my followers? Or are they just out here? I guess they're... I did lose one follower in here, or I guess he was not a follower, but per se. So let's continue. Why are you calling me a deserter? The thing is with the sword, this is, it says it's, it's the weak, weakest of them all, um, but it is the also, I guess, the quickest one. And if you are able to move your feet quick enough, I guess this could be potentially the best weapon of them. Okay. Um, that said, if they also keep dropping the goals, I will probably say that uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess it's a chance on drop. Okay, they are falling from the skies now. See, that is something I guess you are not able to destroy those. Ooh, I saw him there in the last second. Orc Apprentice. Okay, that is something else. Uh, you have to click once uh, if you when you are in combat. He does some kind of a co uh, combination of uh, hits, which is... Okay. 
Okay, so I'm almost uh, done with all the goals. Um, I do want to say one thing. I am pretty sure the gold has something to do with uh, the success of uh, how you're gonna yeah. how you're gonna uh, handle it on the next mission. Um, So I'm still not low, that low on health that I actually want to use a health potion. Okay. Here's the last gold. So that means I am not able to pick up more gold apparently. And um, how do how do? I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. <clears throat> I guess this shows me my next objective. So I did have to kill him to get the key, I guess. Um, to be honest, I think it is worth actually drinking a potion now because I got a little low on health there. Um, what were I? What I kind of don't like is they are limiting my income, um, meaning. Yeah. Um, that means uh, I can only get 100 gold. Once you have the 100 gold, you are not able to get more. And to be honest, that limits the way you actually... I'm not sure playing the game, but... But it also... See, I don't want the lower hand there. Um... I guess that has something to do as well, because if you're standing up here and you're fighting downwards, he's a lot harder to hit than you. So you do have to get to the lower ground and hit upwards, uh, which I guess in Sun Tzu or any art of combat, that is the opposite of how it actually is. Because usually in combat, having the high ground is usually better. Why do I have a feeling that I'm going to be on attack very soon? Oh, push. Whoa. So this is actually pretty good. Actually, let's see if we can get some closer. Okay, not. Next. The problem is, I have something over here shooting at me. Yeah, I do not want to go into uh, melee with those just yet, because... Whoa, I think that was a critical hit. Yeah. 
is that the boss? It is. Okay. Okay, mission complete. I didn't even have time to explore. What the hell? You have found 100 out of 100 gold pieces. One, 100 new gold pieces has been added. So I'm wondering if you collect all the, the 100, you get 100 extra. So I have 200 now. For your bravery in saving the outpost, you're receiving a handsome reward. You have been awarded 25 gold pieces. So do I then get 125 for actually completing this? Congratulations, you have been awarded a new mission. Name 3 Escort Marcus. Location Saladin. Saladia Village. And congratulations, you have been awarded a new character. Huntress. Okay. So I'm wondering, can you change character between missions? Congratulations, you have found a new item with 50 gold, light crossbow, a light and maintainable crossbow, but with a limited damage. I should probably have... You have done us a great service. Helping in staving off these vile invaders despite your imprisonment is bold, to say the least. Isn't this the same one that we had arrested earlier? You expect us to believe that these people are loyal to us when they won't even pay the taxes that they owe? Be gone. That's not how my son is right now. Send me my, my star. No, no, I said it. It is true that you have committed a crime against us. Yet it seems you are willing to prove your loyalty to Selenheim. Because of this, I will offer you a proposition. If you continue to serve our cause and assist us in this action, you will receive full pardons and be embraced as honored warriors henceforth. There is a merchant named Marcus in the town of Seladia. He is very important to the Enclave, as he is the last merchant willing to transverse the rift and bring us supplies that are badly needed if we are to have any hope of withstanding the more frequent raids of the Dregatar. I have received word that the Dregatar have assaulted his convoys and attempted to assassinate him. He must be protected. We won't survive long without him. Okay, that's interesting. Our next mission is gonna be so. Let's see here. So I can go back. That's perfect. I like that when you can go back, backtrace, and redo missions. But I'm guessing if I do that, I will only get the five extra gold from that mission. So um, that was actually an uh, interesting mission here, and I actually. The one thing I didn't like about it is once you killed the boss, the mission ended. Basically, I had no time to actually see if those two other archers are killed, if they actually dropped something I could use. Um, but hey, that's how it is. I completed the mission with 100% gold and uh, that's more, th more than enough for me. So all I have to say here, I thank you for watching and um, I will definitely see you in the next mission.